watching Florist Review's online video that pairs with the technique department in each month's issue. I'm Talmadge McLaurin, publisher of Florist Review. March is the wedding month at Florist Review and we're going to be working on a bouquet handle embellishment. It's something that you can ask a bride to spend a little bit of extra money on and since most bouquets are round and kind of the same style, not very um, shapely anymore, it takes something like detailing to the handle to really make it special. So what we're going to do is start out with your basic tuzzy muzzy, round bouquet, colonial, whatever you want to call it, and we're using yellow roses. So I'm removing the foliage so that I'll have clean, slick stems, any thorns I'm taking off of there, and I'll just do a simple hand tie. I'm using a couple of different kind of roses. I like to use a standard rose and then a smaller rose, either a sweetheart or a spray rose like I'm using here, so that I can get a stem that has a little bit more give to it, so it's limber, and then I can add it to the bouquet, and it helps complete the full rounded dome shape that I'm going for. Now that I have the nosegay arranged in my hand like I want it to stay, my favorite thing to tie off a bouquet is with Oasis waterproof tape. Just take a little bit of tape here, and because the adhesive sticks to the stem of the rose, it holds those outer stems in place better than almost anything else will. And I can do a couple of wraps with this. You can pull this tape tight. Other things cut into the stem of the rose. This never will. So this tape holds securely, and nothing will move around. Now I want to straighten out some of these stems and I'm going to put an extra piece of tape a few inches down. This helps hold everything in place and secure. Now comes the special treatment for the handle. I want to take and wrap it with ribbon first, so I'm going to take the end of my tape up here, pull it back just a little bit, catch that ribbon at the top, and then I'm going to wrap the area that I want to cover. At the end of the tape, I'll just fold that over so there's no fraying, and I'll insert corsage pin to hold that into place. Now, I'm going to trim off these stems evenly, and I'm going to use something called the Candy Wristlet. It's a pearl wristlet from Fitz Design and I just take as many as I need and slip those right over the ribbon and we're going to create a handle completely covered with pearls. You'll notice as you're putting on the wristlets that the pearls are on a stretchy string. They're strung on this elastic string and so as you put them one up against the next one the pearls just butt up against each other and you come up with a flawless covering of pearls on the handle. Now that the handle's finished with pearls, I'm going to add an accent of ribbon. This is a wonderful satin ribbon from Berwick Ofray. Matches the color of the roses. I'm going to tie a simple shoestring bow. Now to finish off this bow, I'm going to add one more thing. This is called Kara's Kisses. It's a jewel. Um, little daisy from Fitz Design. I've trimmed it off a little bit and I'm going to slip it through the knot in the bow and through in between the pearls and into the stems. Holds it perfectly in place. Now you have a lovely, lovely handle design that you can charge a little bit more for the bouquet for your wedding. If you love wedding work as much as I do, you're going to enjoy our book, Weddings 2. It's available from Florist Review. Click on the link right on this website. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.